Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on the bright side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls at 844-236-6010. If you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number. Health is easy, friends. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, if, you're, if your body is breaking down at an accelerated pace, please, please, please understand because it's in the body's nature to heal, because it's in the body's nature to renew and regenerate itself. You don't need to be doctored. You don't need a prescription drug. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, there is no prescription drug that can help you reverse the breakdown process, but it doesn't matter because we can do it ourselves and let us show you how easy it can be. We want, to sh- we want to change your life today. We want this to be the greatest day of your life. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you're dealing with a chronic degenerative disease, your life can change today. If you know somebody, if you have a friend or a loved one whose body is breaking down, who has diabetes or osteoporosis or autoimmune disease, who just doesn't feel good, that's not the way it's supposed to be. And that means that it can be reversed. Degenerative disease can be reversed, but it's not in the realm of the pharmacomedical model to reverse anything. If you're interested in purchasing any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, recommended on the program, you can head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to start a business, if you want to help spread the word about how easy and how important it can be to reverse chronic degenerative disease, to add years to your life, to stay out of the doctor's office, to not interface with the medical model, and if you want to make some money at the same time, sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. If you call 866-735-2470, they can tell you all about it. If you want to purchase any of our skin health products, Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com and take a special long look at the Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with hyperpigmentation, dark spots, wrinkles, acne, oily skin, if you just want an all-around anti-aging product, Retinol 5% Gel. Don't be fooled by the silly products that are out there that pretend to have retinol in them. If it has retinol in it, it's going to smell like retinol, it's going to look like retinol, have a yellow color to it, and uh, chances are pretty good you're not going to find any real retinol products, real retinol products that have any more than 1% or so in, uh, in them. But if you check out truthtreatments.com, you'll find retinol 5% gel in addition to our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Omega-6 Healing Cream. Never preservatives, never fragrances, no wax, no filler, no oil, no silicon, nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't use or doesn't want. Check them out at truthtreatments.com. All right, we're talking about the cell versus the organ versus the tissue. We're talking about inflammation and microinflammation. All of this has to do with the idea of distinctions. Doctors focus on symptoms. They focus on organs. Health is about the cell. This is a major primary distinction. If you want to be healthy, if you're dealing with a health challenge, if you're sick of being on prescription drugs, this is a major distinction that can save your life, certainly can add years to your life. Focus on the cell. Doctors can't do it because the the cell doesn't allow the doctor. The cell rejects the doctor. And because disease is at the level of the cell, there's nothing a doctor can do. Degenerative disease. Doctors focus on the big picture inflammation while health... And the lack of health is about the micro-inflammation, the invisible inflammation. Yesterday we said it's, we called it 
inflammation aging because it's responsible for the aging process. Degenerative disease is aging. It's just a different kind of aging. It's an accelerated aging. So microinflammation, cell inflammation is inflammaging and it's the kind of inflammation that's associated with our breakdown, with our degeneration. From the journal Public of Library of Science Pathogens, quote, ongoing heightened activity of the immune system, which is inflammation, has been linked to many diseases including asthma, diabetes, and heart disease. In the aging, immune system healthy responses are weaker and chronic inflammation is common, unquote. You don't see the inflammation. It's not swelling. It's invisible inflammation. And inflammation means attack. Inflammation means the body's protecting itself from something. I don't know how much clearer this can be. This is, this is as clear as it gets. And if we understand the quote, if we understand that immune, quote, immune system healthy, uh, immune system responses are weaker and chronic inflammation is common in the aged and the sick. If we understand this, really understand it, we're, we now know more than our doctor who thinks that restoring our health is about lowering our cholesterol or restoring our health is about uh, making sure our LDL or HDL or TSH or whatever marker they're using is in the right reference range. That's how they do it. They use reference ranges, normal ranges, based on statistics, actuarial tables. If we apply the wisdom of this idea that behind all breakdown is inflammation and attack, we'll be free. We will free ourselves from the shackles of the medical tyranny, from our doctor, from the pharmacomedical tyranny that wants us to be its ward, wants us to be its babies, wants to be our daddies. This is what the doctor wants to be, our daddies. That's why I say, my doctor told me, my doctor ordered me, my doctor wants me. Just substitute daddy. My daddy wants me. This is what they want us to think. They want us to think that our doctor is our daddy and that medicine, health is too complicated for us little people that we have to go to the doctor to check out, to, to be checked out. Should, by the way, government's the same way. It's called infantilizing, making you into an infant. That's what it does. It makes us into infants. It infantilizes us. Infantilizes us. The president is our daddy. Our doctor is our daddy. This is what the president is. He's the, he's the national daddy, and they're all running to be the, the national daddy. Did you see Sarah Palin yesterday? Oh, my goodness. And Donald Trump, oh, that's another story. I wish I had a political show. Holy moly, what a freak show that is. Donald Trump, Sarah Palin, holy moly. Are you kidding me? Two Corinthians. This medical model, it's not just egregious. It's not just twisted. It doesn't just, it doesn't just want our souls. It wants our money, our energy. It wants our will to live while it, it, enriches, our, it enriches itself like a parasitic virus, which it is. The pharmacomedical model is a parasitic virus. Contributes nothing like a parasite, just sucks our blood. I'm talking the pharmacomedical model. It is not our friends. I'm not talking surgery or uh, emergency surgery. I'm not talking about repairing something that's broken. Obviously that needs to happen. I'm not even talking about antibiotics. Occasionally those are necessary. But I'm talking about this idea that somehow the medical model can take care of our autoimmune diseases or our, or, or our deficiency diseases or our cancers or our heart diseases. From Benjamin Rush, this, this idea is ancient, not ancient necessarily, well, probably ancient. Uh, Alexander the Great said uh, uh, on his deathbed, I am dying from the hand of too many doctors. It's Alexander the Great, 600 B.C. Or, or 400 B.C. Benjamin Rush, 17, uh, 1780. Unless we put medical freedom into the Constitution, the time will come when medicine will organize into an undercover dictatorship. Think I'm making this up? Am I being hyperbolic? Am I exaggerating? This is Benjamin Rush. He was a doctor, and he also signed the Declaration of Independence. And he called it an under. He said it will become an undercover dictatorship, which it is now to restrict the art of healing to one class of men. Chiropractors know this. Any alternative practitioner knows they better not diagnose. I know, you, I get letters all the time. I know you can't diagnose because the word is out. Doctors have a monopoly, even though Benjamin Rush warned us against this, warned us about this 300 years ago. All right, I'm farming. Okay, we are back. Right side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. 
You can search both both uh, Ben Fuchs archive, Archives and BrightSideBen.com for topics or particular programs. If you may have missed one or want to review one or direct somebody to a special program, BenFuchsArchives.com and BrightSideBen.com. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, you can also do so at BrightSideBen.com, CriticalHealthNews.com, and PharmacistBen.com. And we'd love to have you on the BrightSide Ben team if you're interested in starting a business and helping spread the word about the longevity products, about nutritional supplementation, about the power of the human body, about the divine gift of the cell, the divine gift of healing that the cell gives us, and make some money at the same time. Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can sign up right from the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. So, Benjamin Rush, Thomas Jefferson, founding fathers, they all warned us about this, about the situation we're confronting now, about the situation we're confronting with the hegemony, the tyranny of the medical model, the government as well, Obamacare. Have you noticed what's happening with prescription drugs, by the way? Have you seen all the new prescription drugs that are out there now since Obamacare? Do you know that the pharmaceutical companies are set to have a ridiculously banner decade, according to CBS Money Watch, spending on prescription medicine by U.S. patients may rise 41% to as much as, this is unbelievable, $480 billion by 2018. You know, when we get Obamacare and we get our meds paid for us, there's still sales for the drug company. Somebody's paying for that stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. Medicaid prescriptions up 25% in states that expanded Medicaid coverage compared to states uh, that didn't, 2.8%, uh, compared to 2.8% in states that didn't. 25% jump in prescriptions, which are already ridiculously high. Do you think Obamacare is there for the people? Do you think Obamacare is about us? Have you seen these new cancer drugs and hepatitis drugs? They're going for $1,000 a dose. The average American is spending $10,000, nearly $10,000 a year on medical expenses. By far and away, tops in the list of developed countries. Every year it goes up. Every year profits go up. Health spending is now $3 trillion. What? What does that even mean? A trillion, by the way. I mean, I, we hear these numbers all the time now, so it doesn't mean anything. If you take a grain of sand and compare it to an Olympic-sized swilling, swimming, pool, swimming pool, that's a trillion. A trillion is the difference between an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a grain of sand. That's a big number, folks. Health spending, $3 trillion in 2014, and it's not going down. It's going up. And this is all since Obamacare. What do you think? It's an accident? Obamacare is not about the people. It's not about, Obamacare is not about me and you. Yeah, I know if you have something catastrophic, and I believe it in catastrophic insurance. You don't, you don't want to be broken because you got a disease. But this idea that we have to have some insurance companies, we have to uh, be insured for our day-to-day -day health issues, it's obscene. Since the passage of Obamacare, the top 32 executives of uh, the top five insurance companies have reaped in, get this, $484 million in cash compensation and stock options. Half a billion dollars since Obamacare passed two years ago, or, uh, or, or what is it now, five years ago, 2010 it passed. This is craziness, you guys. Watch TV for an hour, a night, and see all the new drugs that are out there, and they're not different. They're not all that different. There's a, you know, they have a new class of drugs or new dosage form. They're basically all the same thing. Diabetes is a big one now. Oh, man, they love diabetes. They milk us. They, they just, that's an opportunity to milk us big time. 25 new anti-diabetes drugs have come out since 2012. And have, what's it done for, what happened to our diabetes epidemic? It's done now. It's all better. And we're all cured. And we're all reversing diabetes because of these 25 new anti-diabetes drugs. Do we really need 25 new drugs for a disease caused by eating and sugar? Is any of this going to reverse diabetes? The ultimate example of this sneakiness, ugh, this twistedness, is this drug called Invokana. They're all bad. I, I just pick on Invokana because they're of the, their catchphrase. You're going to love your numbers. I think that is so nasty and so in your face. 
Oh, we can't do anything for your health, but you're going to love your numbers. Oh, forget it. Don't worry about the side effects, though. And there are a bunch, too. Have you noticed an absolute explosion in anti-diabetic drugs as uh, pharmaceutical companies fall all over themselves, trip all over themselves, trying to exploit the misery, the human misery associated with this classic lifestyle disease called diabetes, which is the third leading cause of death? Actually, if you factor in heart disease and cancer, it's probably the number one cause of death. It's certainly a leading cause of misery. According to the Transparency Market Research Company, the global market for diabetes management accounted for $41 billion in 2010, soon to be $114 billion by, by next year, or by this year, by 2016. This, this is a report that came out in 2010. So, of course, everyone wants a piece of the pie. Never mind that these things are poisons. And I am sorry. I'm just going to call it like it is. They're poisons. There's no, aside from number changes, you're not getting healthier. You're only getting poisoned. Yes, they're purveyors of poison, drug companies. They ultimately will kill you. They'll certainly accelerate your demise. And they will never reverse illness, which is what you want them to do. Hopefully, that's what you want them to do. According to the uh, Transparency Market Research Company, uh, biotech firms are developing and testing new therapeutic formulations and experimenting with a range of delivery systems, pens, syringes, sponges, orals, uh, oral pills, of course, capsules and tablets. Last month, a new one came out, an inhaler. Uh, it's called a Frieza. It's an uh, inhaled insulin. Diabetes, leading cause of death, or one of the leading causes of death, is an eating disease, it's a food disease, and there's no drug or doctor in the world that can reverse an eating disease. They can lower your test scores, they can lower your insulin and blood sugar by, by poisoning it, not, not by food, not by doing it lifestyle-wise, by poisoning it. But Invokana says you're going to love your numbers. This is so, so, so rude. According to drugwatch.com, Invokana is going to be a blockbuster. It's going to earn J&J, &J, Johnson & Johnson, a billion dollars a year in sales. Every dollar ensuring that not only will we be in love with our numbers, but so will Johnson & Johnson. Johnson, that's what they should be telling you. Johnson & Johnson's going to love the numbers. How is it that this uh, Invokana, this magical drug, Invokana, it creates this wonderful world where, where we all love our numbers? How is it that it works? Well, it's this new class. Oh, it's a new class of anti-diabetes drugs. All the old diabetes drugs, they work with insulin and sugar. But, but no, Invokana, this is high tech at work. Invokana poisons the kidneys. Ah, oh, new, new place to poison the body. Now we're going to poison the kidneys. Usually they work with the liver. Now we're going to poison the kidneys. Or sometimes they'll work with the pancreas. Now we're going to poison the kidneys, though. Invokana poisons the kidneys. Yes, I said poison. That's what it does. It poisons the kidneys to force them to dump out glucose that they don't want to dump out. Under ordinary circumstances, glucose or sugar is conserved. Remember, for millions of years, there wasn't a lot of sugar around. So the body has evolved a system for conserving sugar. And one of, it, one of these mechanisms involves holding on to sugar at the kidney level. We'll finish up when we come back from our break and take your phone calls. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're coming back right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am pharmacist Ben. Yes, I'm a little ticked off today. I've been ticked off for a couple of days about this whole scam. I get the phone calls. I get the letters from people who have been on the drugs and aren't getting better. I'm watching people disintegrate. From uh, This is from uh, Pediatrics, Journal Pediatrics. Prenatal exposure to asthma drugs may boost autism risk. Prenatal exposure to commonly used asthma drugs may increase the risk for autism spectrum disorder, new research shows. Investigators found that uh, asthma drugs used during pregnancy are associated with more autism. Are you surprised? How can you be surprised? There's no way you cannot have side effects here. This is from, uh, this is from JAMA Internal Medicine. Low heart rate on heart rate reducing meds leads to higher cardiovascular disease and death risk. No kidding. You shut down your heart and you have a higher risk of dying. Are you kidding? I am surprised. Uh, of course, your doctor doesn't know this. Otherwise, he wouldn't be giving you a beta blocker because that's what those do or a calcium channel blocker because that's what those do. If you hear the word blocker or inhibitor or suppressor or anti, stay away. Invokana. I was going to tell you about Invokana. You know, I'm going to say this for tomorrow. I'm going to talk about Invokana. This one really ticks me off. Love your numbers. 
talk about the side effect. We'll talk about how this thing works. And we'll talk about toxicity. But remember, this is the bright side. This is the good news. As, as twisted, as perverted, as evil as this pharmacomedical model is, the institution of medicine is, not the individuals necessarily, the institution is evil. There's still the good news, which is that the body is a healing and regenerating system designed divinely to heal and renew itself day to day, moment to moment, minute to minute. And it does it. Every time we cut ourselves, this is our testimony. It's like the rainbow. You know, in the Bible, the rainbow is a testimony that God will never destroy the world again. Well, when you cut yourself and it heals, that's your body's testimony that you can regenerate and that you can, the body can turn it around and nobody has to suffer with the misery of a chronic degenerative disease, whatever that is. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to... To Anna in London, is that across the pond, London? London? Is that is that England? London? Hello there, Anna. Do we have Anna? Anna. Anna, Anna. I hate to leave. I hate to... Hello? Hi, Anna. Oh, I think Anna is... I think we're going to put Anna back on hold. Anna, can you hear me? I don't know where Anna went. I'm sorry, Anna. Call back. We'll get you first up if you call back, Anna. I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking to me or what, but I can't hear you. Brian in Kentucky, what's up? Brian in Kentucky. I wonder if this is me messing up here. Brian, do we have Brian? Brian, I hear you. I hear your phone. You're running to the phone, Brian. I'm going to put you back on hold, Brian. I don't know if the... Hey, uh, uh, Blake, is that us or is that the callers? All right, I'm going to get one more. I'm going to get one more. See, John. John in Michigan. Hello. Hey, John. Hello. What's up, John? How you doing, John? Hello. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys at the network. Hello. What's, yes, I know. I hear you, John, but you don't hear me. John? John? No, John. Okay. Let's get a full... John? Yes. Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm about sorry, that. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry, too. I have a question on, on the... Um, I'll serve the... Um, <clears throat> Uh, Colin, I believe uh, there's a gentleman that's done uh, research on GMOs, and since 1985, all these conditions have increased because of what the GMOs do to the gut and allow for leaky gut, and which creates most of these, con like the, the, the um, inflammatory colon, like Len Fry had. It could and easily be a factor. Easily be a factor. I don't know. I haven't seen anything definitive, but the logic, the chemistry logic makes sense. It could easily be a problem. GMOs are GMOs are a big problem, and guess what? The, the toothpaste is out of the tube. They're all over the place, as we knew would happen. So, again, like yesterday, we were talking about how toxic our environment is. It's just something we have to live with. Protect yourself with supplementation. Eat as little calories as possible. Disengage from the machine. Disengage from the corporate, food corporate machine by eating less food, supplementing, and by making sure you're eating correctly. Uh, I'm okay. sorry, John. One more thing, uh, with, uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, I was just reading, too, where uh, curcumin helps suppress some of the symptoms, but I've heard a long time back that doxycycline, is, uh, for taking for a year, would help eliminate it from the system because it's a virus. It's not Well, a no, it's not a virus. There is a bacteria that's involved, a mycoplasma, they call it. But here's the thing. Low levels of antibiotics are a recipe for disaster, and I cannot for the life of me understand why anybody who understands anything about pharmacy or pharmacology would ever do this to a person. What happens is the bacteria mutate. Uh, there may be bacteria present, but they're secondary. Rheumatoid arthritis is an immune disease caused by something that's getting into the blood chronically and regularly. And it's always associated with other autoimmune diseases. Is mycoplasma or bacteria or, or invaders involved? Maybe. But as long as you put the stuff in the blood through the digestive system, leaky gut, etc., you're going to have an immune response. And low levels of antibiotics are a very bad pharmacy strategy. Every pharmacist learns this first day of pharmacy school, first semester of pharmacy school. Never stay on an antibiotic and absolutely never stay on a low dose of an antibiotic because that's perfect for mutation, for resistance, uh, for bacterial resistance. Does that make that's sense, John? I, that's what I thought, and I, I would say fermented foods and kefir. Now you're uh, talking. I think now the, you're talking. The Jordan Rubin uh, cured yes. himself. Yes, Jordan Rubin but, cured himself. He didn't use antibiotics. He didn't use doxycycline. He cured he himself. Kefir. 
Uh, Kefir, fermented foods, bacteria. Yeah. He wrote about it te- uh, 15 years ago. He, he wrote about it. And when and I was see- at, out in California in the Russian store that sold food, you know, Russian foods, uh, they had a whole selection of kefirs. Uh, so these people know uh, from the old school uh, what, what works uh, really well. Good job, John. You know, uh, Longevity has a whole line of Jordan Rubin products, the oh. Beyond Organic products, probiotic cheese. We don't, I, don't, I haven't talked about them for a while, but they're amazing. I use them myself. Uh, uh, he has, he's got a, a product called the Swero V, which is a, a fermented whey product. I mean, Jordan is a beautiful guy and a brilliant, brilliant uh, uh, scientist when it comes to understanding how the digestive tract works. But he's also got a heck of a lot of great products and a ranch. You know, he bought he's, he sold his company and bought himself a ranch where he actually breeds cattle to produce milk milk that doesn't have allergens in it or has that's the a2 cow yes dr. correct dr richard Ulry up here in hillman michigan at eminerals.info explains the a1a2 uh, conflict with uh, milk products and right the a2 there's a great cow the, that he has. and i'm drinking kefir right now from a cow right uh, is a2 so good for I'm, you john hey thanks for your call i'm gonna mo- i'm gonna motivate here buddy okay. thanks for your call have a beautiful day all right brian let's see if we get you back on here brian you there brian Hello, brian ben. hey hey brian Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, I just had a question about um, uh, vitamins A, E, D, and K you were talking about. Deek. Yeah. D-E-A-K, deek. Yes, the fatty vitamins. What were you going to ask? Um, the ones you get at Walmart, like um, I forgot what brand it is, uh, the cheaper and expensive ones. What's your opinion on those? I, well, it depends on what you're talking about. For the most part, you're, they're going to be very similar, but you just never know. Walmart's a big company. You'd think that they would be on the level. There was a, just a, an interesting show on Frontline. Yes, you ever hear that show, Frontline, on PBS? They did one, a show on supplements and the problem with supplements. And they, it can be an issue. This is one of the neat things about longevity and, and knowing your company. Knowing the company you buy your supplements from, that's always the best way to do it. Walmart's a big company. You're probably not going to have too much of an issue, but you will have a problem with getting the right types of the nutrients. For example, when it comes to vitamin K, we talked yesterday about K2 versus K1. You're not going to find necessarily the right types of vitamin K, not the K2 or the zinc picolinate you know, or the selenium yeast. You'll find the cheapo kind. Hang on, Brian. We'll, we'll finish up when we come back. Okay, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Truthtreatments.com for our retinol 5% gel. And make sure you check out the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We're talking to Brian in, Kine- uh, Brian in Kentucky about supplements. Uh, Brian, you there? Uh, yes. Yeah, as far as the quality of the supplements in a store like Walmart or Walgreens, you can pretty much assume they're going to be of decent quality. The thing is, you're not going to get the good forms of the nutrients at the big box stores. Uh, that's That would be my only concern. Now, as far as other companies go, you got to be careful. You know, this is one of the neat things about longevity is you know what you're getting. You know, you know... We're be, we stand behind the products. The people who are involved with the company stand right behind the products. We're, we're in the front. You don't see the manufacturers or the, the owners or the developers or the formulators for most companies, but with Longevity, you see us. So uh, that's one of the advantages to getting your nutritional supplements from Longevity, even though you're going to pay multi, you know, it's a network marketing model, so you're going to pay more for them. Does that answer your question, Brian? Uh, it sure does. Okay, yeah. good deal. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. All right, let's go back to, to I think, London, England. Is that right, Anna? Are you there? Yes, hi. How are you? Hi. Is this, are you in the UK? I am, yes. Yeah. Oh, good Good deal. What time is it over there? Are you staying up late for us? It, no, it's 5 p.m., so not that late. Okay, good deal. How can I help you? Um, I'm calling because my husband has been suffering from peeling tapped um, crusty lips for over 20 years now. Oh, there's and... something's wrong. My Something's wrong, Anna. He's got to have other symptoms, too. Uh, oh, crack... I mean, he has a lot of other, other, other yeah, symptoms. Digestive symptoms, guaranteed. I, I'm not yeah. psychic, but I'm telling you. See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know how this works. And by the way, I don't know if you've heard this, if I, you heard me talk about this, but I started off my career as a pharmacist working for Blistex. Have you heard of you know okay. Blistex? You know Blistex in, over there in the U.K.? Well, that's, I yeah. made a lot of Blistex. I made a lot of lip products, and I studied the lips a lot, and I know a lot about the lips. And the lips are actually very interesting skin. The, the lips on the skin are more are different from the, from the lips in anywhere else in the body. The lips and the skin are, if you think about it, they stick out from your face, so they're subject subject to more abuse. And so nature has provided the lips with an excess uh, with an extra amount of moisturizers and moisture factors. However, those moisture factors, like in the skin on your arms or anywhere else in your body, just more extreme on the lips, they're fatty. 
So you want to think of a fat problem. And when I think of a fat problem that's going on for decades, like your husband, guaranteed there's an absorption issue at the gut level. It could be the liver. It could be okay. the gallbladder. It could be the intestine. He has, he has something like a chronic diarrhea, probably, IBS or ulcerative colitis symptoms, that kind of thing. Does that sound familiar, Anna? Yeah, he definitely has digestive issues. Okay, good. I, I'm, this is, I'm not psychic. I'm just telling you how it works. So right away, you need to focus on the digestive system because he's got 20 years or probably more, really, of digestive yeah. problems, probably since he was a kid. How old is he? He's 35. Okay, so he's young. That's good news and bad news. He's too young. That's the bad news. And he's young that he can recover, young enough to recover. That's the good news. Right away, start working on the gut. Probiotics. I don't know if you can get our longevity products over there, but if you can, the nightly essence, uh, nine a day. If you can't, find a good probiotic. You know what I mean when I say that, Anna? Probiotics? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. The best one you could find, go multiple on, strains. Uh, tangy tangerine right oh, you, now, you, so we just started that. Get on the nightly essence, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night. Make sure he's using his ultimate enzymes after all his meals. Start eating more fatty foods with the ultimate enzymes. Use things that stimulate bile secretion, uh, stomach bitters perhaps, Swedish bitters they call them, uh, okay. uh, parsley at the beginning of meals, dandelion greens at the beginning of meals, things that are bitter at the beginning of meals. It's a great strategy for folks who want to stimulate bile. Lecithin with all his meals, you know what that is? L-E-C-I, mm -hmm. lecithin. You can find that anywhere to go for non-GMO, of course, lecithin. Okay. There's so many different during things you can do. after meals or during? Uh, or? With his meals. With his meals sometime. Okay. Sometime with the meals. Make sure he's on his ultimate EFAs, nine a day. That's a must-have. 20,000 okay. IU of vitamin A a day is a must-have. Not optional, especially if he's got these kinds of symptom, this kind of symptomology. And he's is gonna that have in the BTT? Or no, you have to get that extra. You'll have extra, to get that extra. Okay. 50 okay. milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. You'll have to get that extra. Okay. I, I would probably be tossing in some uh, around 400 IU of vitamin E a day. If you can get A and D capsules, put mm -hmm. a little pin in there, break it open, and use the A and D right on his lips. Okay. Okay? And I'm going to motivate here. That's tons of strategies. But I would really encourage you to take this very seriously. It's a bigger problem than just peeling lips. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Okay, thanks Thank so much so for your much. calling. Good luck. Okay, uh, Chapman in South Carolina. Oh, we just lost Chapman. Chapman, I was about to get you, and you hung up. Let's go to Angela in Florida. What's up, Angela? Hi, uh, Ben. One question for you about a topical prescription drug, if you can tell me anything about it. What's I got it called? a sample of beta chlorbestazole. Beta chlorbestazole. Have you heard of that? Uh, uh, I think it's C-L-O-B-E. T-A-S-O-L. Spell the whole thing. B-E-T-A-C-L-O. Mm -hmm. B-E-T-A space C-L-O. Oh, that's a brand name. What's the generic? It's, it's probably beta-methasone. That sounds like a That's the brand name of it. Uh, beta, it's a steroid. Is it, What are you using it for? Um, on the face. Um, I know it's for eczema. And I, okay. when I used it, the, it made the face. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. It made the face what? Um, it made, for the first time, my face feel like one sheet of skin and not porous or dull. Got it. Uh, Here's the deal. Here's the deal, Anna. They're shutting down your immune system. The skin is loaded with defensive mechanisms. One of those defensive mechanisms, or, or one of those defensive mechanisms, when it's activated, causes cells not to grow correctly. So it's a sign of defense. It can be compounded by a lack of fatty nutrients. Between those two factors, you've got your solution to eczema. Not just for Anna, by the way. Listeners, anybody out there dealing with eczema, between uh, uh, something getting into the body that's activating the immune system and problems with fats and fatty vitamins, you have your solution to eczema. The doctor's solution, what you're using, Angela, is to shut down the immune system. You can do that, and like you say, you know, you, obviously if you shut down the immune system, you're not going to have inflammation, but that's not the way, that's not going to help you in the long run. It's not going to take care of the problem. If you have something getting into your blood through the digestive system that's activating an immune response in your skin, it's happening inside your body too. You're just not seeing it. And in the long run, only God knows what's going to happen. In terms of the immune system, you don't want to be messing around with that. Secondly, if you're deficient in vitamin A, and omega-3 fats and maybe even omega-6 fats, you're going to have deficiencies, you're going to have uh, uh, problems with deficiencies in terms of your bone, in terms of your hormones, in terms of uh, wrinkles later on down the road. So you're not solving the problem. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're getting all the fatty vitamins, kind of like our last caller with the peeling lips, all the fatty vitamins, particularly A and D. And also zinc, A, D, and zinc, are, and I don't want to de-emphasize E and K, but A, D, and zinc primarily, 20,000 IU of A, 
Uh, also, I would be using uh, getting out in the sun. That helps. And also 5,000 IU, maybe of vitamin D. And then uh, nine of your EFAs a day, three in the morning, three in the afternoon, three at night, probiotics to help you absorb the fats. And if you have any digestive problems, those need to be corrected. And I hope that helps you, my dear. Um, I want to get one more call in, okay? Thanks for your call. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Good, take care. All right, it's got Chapman back. What's up, Chapman? Hey, Ben. How are you hey. doing? I'm doing good. Is that your name, Chapman? Uh, your... Yeah, it is. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool. But What's you know, going on, Chapman? Karen. What's well, that? I called you. I, I've talked to you before. Um, I'm the chef from South Carolina that kind of cured herself of the rheumatoid. I remember. Uh, you used digestive process. stuff. You, you cooked your way. You ate your way to cure yeah, yourself. Yeah, that and, you know, I supplement with a lot of your stuff, you know. I do the BTT, and, and that's, that's nice. been really good. But, you know, a lot of these people, man, they got to cut out the grain. A big, big gotta, problem. Big problem. And they got to get on the ghee. They got to eat, like, you know, pastured meats and, you know, the, the diet with the, with the cheese and everything. They've got to get with the program and realize it's all bottom-up stuff. Chapman, you know, I wish you would call. Can, it from the top I want you down, to, man. Chapman, I want you to talk to me more. Can you uh, call me tomorrow or call me sometime in the next few days so we can talk? Yeah, I have to go. I got absolutely. one more call I'm going to get. Call you, I'll, I'll call you early. Call me at the beginning tiny, of the program. I've got a tiny bone I'm going to pick with you, but it's just tiny. So I want to hear it. I want to hear okay, your man. bone. Okay. All right, I'll give you a call back. Okay, Chapman, thanks. Socrates, I'm sorry. I, I only got about a minute. What's going on? I love your name, though. Socrates. That's all right, Ben. we we'll thought to the past. I, I just remember. wanted to say, I think it's uh, quite evident to that you live your life intellectually, honestly. And the, the first job that you ever had was Kmart. And you had, in giving people antibiotics, you suggested probiotics. And they said, Ben, they're just not Kmart material. <laughs> you, you, do you remember? Did, you, did I tell that on the air or did you come to one of my talks? That's exactly what you, you happened. Did, you, you told it on the air, and it's a story that that really uh, emanated with me. Because uh, people actually, you know, always tr always struggle with their their moral consequences of the actions that they're doing. And I think kind of uh, you really work at Kmart material. I really do think that set you in the right direction. And, uh, Thank you. I appreciate that. That's the last word. Somewhat. Thanks so much for calling and pointing that out. I appreciate that. Yeah, Kmart. That was a funny funny experience working at Kmart. Oh my goodness, Kmart pharmacy. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. Thank you for listening. Listening, friends, we'll be back at you tomorrow. We'll talk some about Invocana. We'll get your phone calls and we'll do all the good things that we do on the bright side every day. Thank you so much for being with us, and we will talk to you all later. Bye for now.